More than ever before, the time has come for federal and state governments in Nigeria to pay greater attention of the country's huge mineral resources. This was the subject of discussion on day two of the training program for the journalists organized by Clearview Television in collaboration with the Wale Shoinga Center for Investigative Journalism holding in Abuja, the Nigerian's capital city. Clearview TV's Mercy AK was there and now reports. The three-day training program for boarding reporters had as its theme government accountability reporting with focus on issues affecting the development of Nigeria's solid mineral subsector, particularly in the Federal Capital Territory, Nasarawa, and Niger states. Giving an overview of the Nigeria's solid mineral sector, the guest speaker, Georgie Mola, said the nation was abundantly blessed with solid minerals, but noted that the absence of current data and information was slowing down needed investments in the sector. While acknowledging other challenges like lack of proper infrastructure, insecurity and absence of a fiscal framework for the sector, Imola employed regulatory authorities to review existing policies to promote commercial exploration of mineral resources. He said this is needed to achieve diversification of the economy, create jobs as well as address poverty. Nigeria is endowed with vast resources. Nigeria is one of the only countries where if you go to every state, at least you have a valuable mineral. The country was a major exporter of tin and columbine in the 1960s. But with the advent of the uh, discovery of uh, petroleum, everything changed. A recession happened in 2015 when the price, price of uh, petroleum crashed. So now government looked for ways to diversify the economy from this uh, oil. Then came in uh, agriculture and uh, uh, solid minerals. So successive governments have tried to revamp this sector with very little success. Because till now, the mining sector contributes less than 1% to the gross de the domestic product of Nigeria. Participants at the training program who later devolved into separate groups at the end of their technical sessions are confident that they have been adequately challenged to pay greater attention to reporting issues that will spur growth and development of the sector for the general good of all Nigerians. I believe that for anyone to make true change, you have to be empowered to be a change maker. So with the trainings I've received, the lectures and the knowledge I've acquired, I know that um, I'm not only going to change my world, but I'm going to be the best while doing it. We are moving from the use of diesel to electrification. So industries, companies and a lot of other people are still using electricity other than diesel so people will still have need for miners and then the mineral resources it could increase and over time contribute to the growth of our GDP in the country. Commenting on the initiative the CEO of Clearview Television Sam Odion Bello expressed happiness that the media outfit partnership with the Wale Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism to allow attention to the growth of the solid mineral sector is already achieving results. Let me Thank uh, Wale Showing Car Center for Investigative Journalism, who deemed it fit to have invited us to be one of the 26, 27 organizations that should go through this three year assignment. The assignment is for three years, this is the first year. So they now asked Clearview TV to choose a topic, and we now said, okay, we will go for uh, this mineral resources area of mining. Why is because I have been full of pity for Nigeria with this our uh, oil because you discover that agriculture has been taken to the, the back seat. Uh, what other one again? Uh, even mining, yes, mining and agri have been relegated because of the advent of oil. Since the oil boom from Olo Ibiri in 1957 or so, the diversification has been so so neglected. And now that government is even interested in diversification from oil, I now feel that Clearview TV should be one of the few organizations in this country that will give government the necessary backing 
towards having this diversification for it could be to a greek it could be to mining but then we should all know that oil may dry up at any time and from all indications it's happening so that is why we are so much interested in uh, uh, mineral development could be artisanal could be highly professional one so we are supporting diversification from oil uh, by federal government according to the lead program coordinator in Senegma, more training programs under the partnership will be organized to educate journalists to help create the needed awareness on the potentials of the Nigerian mineral subsector. Mercy Aki, reporting for Clairview Television.